Oh shit. God damn it, how it's we're gonna ever water. Get, we need to do one more episode. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just one shot. Just like, oh, god damn it! Oh, I just forgot. Woo! Oh, there you go. I forgot about that. Yeah. Woo! Just gotta get in it's the better. dungeon. <laughs> All, All right, right welcome, welcome back. Yeah. Here we are at the, uh, the next place. We definitely made it very easily with no complications. Yeah, none whatsoever. Um, I did not die by doing very dumb things. Um. This is the last shrine of the island, the plateau. Yeah, so we'll probably do an episode with this, uh, an episode of us getting the hell out of here. Or, I mean, excuse me, probably an episode of this dungeon and getting the hell out of here, and then mm -hmm. uh, next episode will probably be on to the first uh, main area. Yes. Which you can sort of choose the order. Yeah, you can. So it's whatever yeah. you want to do, so we'll um, have to figure out what yeah. order we're going to do those in. But um, I would not mind doing... So the only temple I did not do was the Gerudo Temple. Uh-huh. Um, so so I kind of want to do that one first. That'd be cool, doing something uh, yeah, that you didn't do. I, I don't. I know there's an order of difficulty, but... I, yeah, I think I the know. hardest one is the Gerudo. All right. Because well, that's the big desert camel. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is supposed to be difficult, so... <sighs> yeah, we'll do that I, think at <laughs> least, I think at least I, I've, I've heard from yeah. internet people that... The um, Gerudo form of Ganon that you face at the end is, is the, hardest. the hardest. Yeah, it's like light Ganon or something. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. So, that. whatever. I've seen that, but. Um, okay, fine. Yeah, I, I mean, I climb ice pillars all the time. Ice <laughs> is very easy to climb. <laughs> yeah, just, with you your just, bare hands. Bare hands, yep. Come on. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you just open yourself Come up. Come on, dude. Oh, no. Don't get far right, away. Just... This is the easiest want... way to kill him. Is it at this yes. point? Yes, it is. It is. I don't... Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm really used to the harder ones. <laughs> I thought it's going to take a lot more than that. Um, okay, okay, Amazing. On. I know. It's just pure skill. Like how like you're just like like doing these mechanics that like might take you a second to think about and like oh yeah. <laughs> so I heard something pretty cool in uh, science news today. Oh really? Uh, I guess some research team in I guess they're not research they're actually experiments but um, in Tibet they were able to transfer uh, communications between qubits uh, from their facility to a satellite. Um, oh, about, okay. It's like 800 miles, which is actually the farthest it's gone. Okay. Uh, just like a kind of a huge jump right. in quantum computing. Right, right, right. Um, and just quantum entanglement in general is just that's an insane distance. Mind blowing. Yeah. yeah, I think the like the one before that was like 60 something miles, and they just jumped up to like 800. It was ridiculous, and they successfully did it, I think six times. Jeez. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, quantum computing. Uh, uses things called qubits, which are basically two quantum particles that are in different places, but they're entangled, but it actually means that they're actually the same particle, just in two different spots. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fucking mind-blowing. Well, because it can be in a bunch of different spots. It's it's variable. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the idea is, like, yeah, it... Rather than having one state or another, it has like a shitload. Just, yeah. But yeah, so yeah. for any one process, yeah, you're it's one particle in one state, one particle in another state. Yeah. Sort of at this, it's all that quantum craziness. It's it's, in, it's unbelievable. Um, it's really easy to like say these things, but to really grasp it, to takes know what's actually years and years. Oh of, yeah, I yeah. do not. <laughs> I know even a little bit about what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's but there cool are stuff, like though. we have quantum computers. So how did it? It traveled eight hundred miles. Like what? So what was? The it was way? literally like they 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 flipped the state of the one that they had, and it changed the state of the one in the satellite. Like they literally like, sent like it no up to the satellite, and there's nothing in between it. They're literally because it's quantum entangled, and they are the same particle. It's able to that blows. Yeah, that's I, that blows really, my mind. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I have to. That that would make a great. Um, that's like a great, I don't want to call it mysteries. I had a philosophy teacher call them excellent beauties, which I don't know if I like that term excellent either. Beauties. 
Yeah, it's this whole it's this whole term he had for like paradoxes and things about our reality that like science can't fully explain and might never be able to explain. Okay. So like I mean just standard paradoxes like yeah. uh like why are there multiple forms of infinity? You know, you have infinite even numbers, you have infinite odd numbers, yet combining them is infinite. So how you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess they're I all. Guess I understand that. Yeah, so I mean that's a really, 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 really simplistic example. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, for some people, it's like, oh, infinity, infinity is just infinity. Like you know what I mean? Like there's, yeah, it's but it's way more complex. But it's than, you know. But it's right. But you're, you're saying logically, you have one set of numbers that is infinity, mm-hmm. and you have another set of numbers that's infinity. And then them together is the it's same infinity. infinity. Yeah. Not not a different infinity. Yeah. Like like logically yeah, yeah. it's the same infinity. Mm-hmm. So that that that's sort of a difficulty. Yes. Um yeah. I so something even crazier about infinity is if you take the infinite sequence of I think it's like one plus two plus three plus whatever, uh-huh. uh it comes out to some hard fraction like one twelfth or something like that. Really? If you solve it. Yeah. It's okay. it's unbelievable. Like mathematics is just is absolutely yeah. It's full of those. It's full of those. Yeah, I mean, there's all types of paradoxes in mathematics. There's the birthday paradox, where like you only need 23 people in the same room to have a 50 percent chance that two of them have the same birthday. Yeah, like, yeah. And if, you know, we do that <laughs> shit in, in class all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was like a big like. And, and then you need you thing. know, then you need the full 366 to have a hundred percent chance that, oh, yeah. that that you know to guarantee it yeah. basically. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah. Well, given that a set of random, like a set of people have random birthdays. Yeah. Perfectly yeah. random birthdays. Um, so okay. craziness for sure. We gotta go visit the old guy up here. Yep. I think now's the time. I'm excited. I oh, I, I shouldn't have done that. I'm not gonna have enough stamina. Okay. Oh, hopefully I don't fall this time. Because I know I just made it the last time. People are going to want us to be funnier. Some of the Zelda episodes will be funny. Some of them are going to be a little long-winded. We'll try to we'll try to uh, mix up the content and what we're doing. In yeah, the, yeah. Because uh, I mean, we're complex people, and you guys are complex viewers. Yes, <laughs> and we we appreciate that. And it's a complex experience. It's Let's play. Humans are co- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and even if they are, you got to do the you got to do the them. desperation. Oh. Oh, there was a place. Okay. There was a place to stop, so okay. I guess that was okay. Well, uh, yeah. There we go. There you is go. There, is there an open window? No. Okay. Yeah. That's an open window. That's <laughs> a bit more than a window. Oh, hey. He's oh, hey, glowing. ghost man. <laughs> <laughs> well done there, young one. Now you did then, it. <laughs> the time has come to show you who I truly am. Hmm. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. Bosphoramus. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <gasps> Wait, but we're in it. So bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, he's floating now. King, King Roham. Hippopotamus. The there great calamity he was, was the, merciless. Uh, he, was, merciless. He, was, he was the boat. It devastated <laughs> he was the boat when <laughs> Low. Probably appreciated me a lot more when I was a boat. <laughs> <laughs> it was then that my life was taken away from me. Doesn't seem like it was really and taken. Since that time, I here I have remained around. in spirit form. I did Wait, not he's think a ghost. Why did he get mad that I took his apple? memory was still fragile. It's a great question. So rather than that, hmm. I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. <laughs> oh boy. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. I guess we're gonna, we'll include this plot. Because this is, I guess this is the most important generation plot. To yeah. Generation. Sort of. In the form of yeah, kind of explains everything. This is sort of all you need to know. But there was also prophecy. It's always a prophecy. It's always a, the whole Zelda universe is one giant prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. 
We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the Oh, it's good to picked it up. Okay. <laughs> These relics, the divine the beasts, beasts, were giant machines piloted, piloted by, by warriors. warriors. We also found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers. <laughs> what the hell is this doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Was it just sitting here? How the fuck do we, do we not see it? This coincided with ancient legends often oh, repeated, repeated throughout, throughout our land. land. You're telling me that it was an ancient legend about machines? We also and learned of a princess with a sacred power. They just, they, they just and her appointed completely knight, just ignored us. <laughs> the They're like, oh, they were right. right. Look at them. They were right. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient For relics. For sure. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from <sighs> across Hyrule. Wow. And tossed yep. Them <laughs> there's just four warriors that, uh. Four warriors, four design beasts, one dead. chick. The princess is their commander. One girl. And there's a knight that was her servant. A name that would solidify I that was, bond. I, think maybe. I don't know. It could have been. It might have been you. The He'll say it. Sorry. The appointed knight and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. <laughs> Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck! I'm so strong! I'll send my jizz cans all over! What's happening? He appeared from deep below Hyrule. He controls the guy. He's controlled the divine beasts. And the divine beasts. Somehow Ganon hacked the shit out of all the technology. The champions lost their lives. This magic. Yeah. It's not actually magic. The appointed knight just technology. technology. Technology is kind of magical in a way. Oh, oh, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Oh, shot the camera. Thus, Classic the cinematic uh, movie. Devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. Sweet transition. <laughs> However, the princess survived. To face Ganon alone. Huh. I'm a giant floating pudding monster. You, you defeat fire. me. <laughs> the fate of Hyrule rests with you. Yeah, she's really facing it on her own after asking Link for help. I mean, <laughs> okay, she faced it, but <laughs> she's my yeah. own daughter, my dear Zelda. Tell me the princess was the daughter of the and the king. courageous knight. Oh my god. He protected her right no way. The very uh, end. I don't know if I can believe that, ghost man. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. I did. And then you were taken <laughs> to the shrine. You sound like me. <laughs> Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are. I haven't been hearing anything! <laughs> you got the wrong guy! She works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle. She calls Hello, out. Rick. <laughs> However, Can I go my back daughter's to my power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could so not like save my deal, own kingdom, God damn, I have no huge. right to ask this of you, Link. <laughs> I was only the princess's knight and sworn to protect her. <laughs> you must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, I'll do it. <laughs> Ganon has maintained control of all it. four <laughs> divine beasts. As well as those guardians Four. swarming around Hyrule uh. Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. But I can do it. <laughs> I suggest <laughs> I could that you if make I your way to. east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. To Ka Ka there you will find the Elder Ka Impa. Ka Ka she will tell you more Ka about Kak Village! <laughs> Penis. <laughs> the map on your ship is <laughs> Got it. Oh, we did it. We nailed it. Oh, oh jokes. 
Boom. <laughs> Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. Jesus Christ, we're not even going to go that way, Follow probably. the road as it proceeds north. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you take care of this? You look way more menacing it's, than me. <laughs> I know, right? Paraglider. All right, finally. Jesus Christ, man. Fly around. Iceland Plateau complete. Right. Yay, we did it. We are finished. Okay, be able to safely fly around the... And I think that's it. Yep. I told you everything I can. Mm. As king, I really don't know much more. <laughs> you must save Hyrule. Save Hy Hyrule. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Destroy Ganon. So that's yeah. That's our, our quest. New quest. I like that. That's like, that shows up like that. Seek out Impa. Yep. That's the. Uh, All right. Well, uh, let's go. do a little paragliding, and then we'll. Uh... And then yeah. And then we'll sign off. It's a good feeling. The it, paragliding, the paragliding is, is amazing. Paragliding is really, really great. Uh, this just opens up the fucking world. Um, yeah. We want to go. You know, I'll just. I guess I'll just beeline it for Kakariko. Yeah, just beeline it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Why not? Why not? We'll beeline it for Kakariko. And then we'll figure out what section we're going to. Yeah. And uh, yep. that'll be that. Think, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll, thank, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. And we'll, we'll be back. We'll keep going with it. All right. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, see, see ya. ya.